Hello, I'm Lee. And I'm Wally. And this is Summer. And we are Three for the Road RV. This, this is, is Sacred, Sacred Sabbath, Sabbath Day. Day. Hello, roadies. Today we finish up talking about the fourth article of faith from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And the discussion today is on the gift of the Holy Ghost with a little added feature about enduring to the end. And Jesus taught us that we must be baptized of water and also of the Spirit. Baptism by water must be followed by baptism of the Spirit or it is incomplete. Only when we receive baptism and the gift of the Holy Ghost can we receive a remission of our sins and become completely spiritually reborn. We then begin a new spiritual life as disciples of Christ. After a person is baptized by water, one or more authorized priesthood holders lay their hands upon the person's head and confirm that person a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. They then confer the gift of the Holy Ghost. Those who receive the gift of the Holy Ghost and remain worthy can enjoy His companionship throughout their lives. The Holy Ghost has a sanctifying, cleansing effect upon us. The Holy Ghost testifies of Christ and helps us recognize the truth. He provides spiritual strength and helps us to do what is right. He comforts us during times of trial or sorrow. He warns us of spiritual or physical danger. The Holy Ghost provides the powerful power by which we teach and learn. The gift of the Holy Ghost is one of our Heavenly Father's most precious gifts. Through the power of the Holy Ghost, we can feel of God's love and direction for us. This gift is a foretaste of eternal joy and a promise of eternal life. The priesthood authority needed to perform this ordinance, which was lost centuries ago through apostasy, was restored through the prophet Joseph Smith. Only through membership in the church can one receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. This authority makes the church different from any other religion in the world. Enduring to the end is the next step. Once we have entered the straight and narrow path by our faith in Jesus Christ, repentance, and the ordinances of baptism and confirmation, we must exert every effort to stay on that path. We do so by continually exercising faith in Jesus Christ, repenting, making commitments, and following the Spirit. Once we have been forgiven of our sins, we should try every day to remain free from sin so that we can always have the Holy Ghost to be with us. In the covenant of baptism, we promise our Father in Heaven that we will obey His commandments for the rest of our lives. If we fall short, we must repent in order to retain the blessings of the covenant. We promise to do good works, serve others, and follow the Savior's example in the scriptures. This lifelong commitment is often called enduring to the end. By following the gospel path, we can draw closer to God conquer temptation and sin and enjoy the gifts of the Holy Ghost more abundantly. As we patiently and faithfully and consistently follow this path throughout our lives, we will qualify for eternal life. Faith in Christ, repentance, making, renewing, and keeping covenants, and being cleansed by the Spirit become a pattern of living. Our actions in daily life are shaped and governed by these principles. Peace and joy come by following this way, and we gradually grow in Christ-like attributes. Eventually, as we follow this way, 
and press forward with a steadfastness in Christ and endure to the end, we are promised that we shall have eternal life. So, if you have any questions or comments about what we have talked about today, please follow the links below. And also, feel free to comment and share your feelings on this subject of coming closer to God and Christ. And we would love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and ring that bell. And we look forward to talking to you next week. Thank you and safe travels.